Hello everyone, in my previous video, I have shown you guys that how you can host your Next.js front-end project on WebZoo panel. And today I am going to show you guys that how you can host your Next.js back-end project on WebZoo panel. So here you can see that when I have posted this video on our Facebook group, one of our Facebook group member commented that please connect MySQL or PostgreSQL database then create a simple API then make another video. So today I am creating this video to keep the request of our Facebook group member. But I am not going to connect MySQL or PostgreSQL database. Instead of them I am going to connect MongoDB database. Okay. And I have already created a simple API here and now what I am going to do is I am going to host this project on WebZoo panel. So first of all let's check out our project by running this command npm run dev. Okay, I am going to open this in your dev. So here you can see that it is our next.js backend project here. If I uh, write here now if I click on share note button and click on copy link button here you can see that success shareable link copy it to clipboard and here you can see that if I visit this link it is showing the data so it is successfully posted to our mongodb database so here you can see that it is a completely a backend project and now I am going to host it on our WebZoo panel. So to host it on our WebZoo panel, I am going to visit satisfyhost.com and I am going to log in here. Then scroll down a little bit and click on manage button. Scroll down, log in to WebZoo. Then we need to go to our file manager from here. Then click on public HTML. Okay, now we need to upload our project here. So to do this, first of all, we need to build our project from here. So I'm going to npm run build from here. Alright, so now I'm going to reveal this project in my file explorer. So now I'm going to zip this file from here. So right click here and compress to zip file. Okay, so from here, I'm just going to write build dot zip that's it okay so now i'm going to upload it on my web zoom panel so i'm just going to drag and drop it here so now i'm going to unzip it from here so right click here extract files from archive here okay yes now again i'm going to go to my web zoom panel and here you can see the terminal option click on it we need to come to our public HTML folder. So I'm going to write here cd public HTML, enter here and ls. So here you can see that these are our files. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write here npm run del command not found. That means our node modules are missing. So we need to install them first npm i. Alright, our npm package is successfully installed. So now I'm going to write here npm run dev. Alright, so let's check out 3000 port using our IP address. If I write here this IP address and 3000. Here you can see that our next CS website is successfully running but now it is on our IP address we need to host it on our satisfy.pw domain so how can we do that to do this you need to first of all make sure to build it from here again npm run build alright build is complete so then you'll need to click on applications add applications and from here we are going to use passenger so application name is going to be knotes and domain will be satisfy.pw 
application path is our public HTML folder. So we need to write here public HTML because it is inside satisfy to public HTML. So that's it. Okay, then we need to select application type. I'm going to select Node.js 20 because if you open package.json and if I write here node here you can see that it is our node version our node version is greater than 20 okay now we need to select the application type so I'm going to select it node.js 20 from here because I'm using node.js 20 if I visit package.json and node here you can see that it is 20 or more than 20 so on the application startup file i'm going to uh, give it server to js and it is a very important part here you can't host your next js project on webzoo panel without this startup file and we need to create this file on our public html folder so i'm going to create it from here new file and just select php but we are going to modify it to server.js so i'm going to right click on it i'm going to edit this file with this editor so here we need to paste some code you will find this code in our video description or in our comment box so i'm just close it and i'm going to paste the code here i'm going to save it from here ctrl s and i'm going to close it and from here I'm going to select the deployment environment productions and then environment variables. If you open server.js file from here with AC editor, here you can see that this file requires a environment variable named port. Okay, so we need to enter it here. I'm going to click on add button and I'm going to give the port. So uh give here which port you are using on your project for example i am using 3000 port in my project so that's why i'm going to enter 3000 here okay if you are using 5000 or any other port then make sure to give uh, that port here all right so we need to add some more environment variable because i am using some environment variable here so i need to copy and paste them to my webzoo panel so i'm just going to copy it from here paste it here done i have added all of my environment variables here so i'm just going to create this application now so here you can see that done and if I uh, reload satisfy.pw here so now here you can see that our website is hosted successfully let me test it out if it is working correctly or not so here I am going to write so I am just going to click on share note button and copy the link so here you can see that one error but why it is giving us error let me explain you so if i open vs code here you can see that our public base url is still localhost 3000 api so our api link is not updated we need to update our api link according to our domain domain name okay so to fix this we need to go to our applications tab and from here if i just click on this pen icon here you can see that our api link is using localhost link so we need to change it to our domain so i am going to write here satisfy.pw and make sure to write here https instead of http so now i am going to click on edit button okay done data saved successfully so if i reload it from here okay again if i click on this button and click on copy link button okay we need to allow it here you can see that success shareable link copy it to clipboard so if i check it from here here you can see that this is our link if i open it in new window 
here you can see that my data which I have created from here successfully posted to MongoDB database and it is displaying here. So that's it for today. If you face any issue, you can open ticket from here. You can live chat with us. You can post on our Facebook group. We are always there for you.